so today I'm doing a port forward video basically you can do this on any device iPhone a computer uh, even a Samsung anything that can you can give a static IP to today specifically I'm gonna do a PS4 this also applies to an Xbox should be the same for that as well you just have to maneuver through the settings a little bit differently but same rules apply so what this basically does is opens up your firewall ports a couple of them not everything and just allows you to let certain data go through giving you that open net type for playing with other people and so on so you're gonna go into settings network and view connection status then all those arrows that I have, the black ones, take the IP, the subnet, the default, primary, secondary, copy them all down for later reference. We're actually going to use them right now. So then what you want to go back out, go into set up internet. You can choose wired or wireless. I am wired. Then go custom, manual, and then write them all in again, except for your IP, which is going to have the last three digits anywhere from the number 100 all the way to 200 pick any easy number that you can remember then you're going to go into automatic do not use and test the internet connection to see if everything works all good so in my case it worked good then we're going to head over to the computer so now on your computer, you're going to want to try to get onto your router's web page. There's a multiple ways to do this. One is to find your IP by searching it up in Google, saying what is my IP, then putting it in your URL bar and going to that. Second way is to go to your router and see what its IP is default and type that in. Or you can go into this PC, then go into network, which is actually under this PC. So go into network, you're going to give it you're going to turn on your sharing device sharing so that it can see which router is connect it's connected to once you turn that on it's actually going to search through and find the router so if you know your router's model number or anything like that it'll show up and then you're just going to double click on it and that'll take you to its url automatically as well so those are the three ways that you can do that so mine's that v1000h so i'm just going to double click on that there and it's going to try to link it to Google Chrome or whatever my default browser is. So we're going to the router page. We're also going to use another website called portforward.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can go straight to that as well. This basically lets us put the ports in that we need. And it also tells us how to do it depending on what router we have. So if you have the one I have, no worries. You can just follow along with me. Otherwise, try to search up your router and see what settings it is. It's not too hard to find which ones go where. So these are the ports we're going to be using today and we're going to go to the router page right now. I personally know my own IP address so I'm just typing it in right now and we're going to head to that page really soon here. So now we're at this page. So the next thing you're going to, want to do is find your username and your password. Uh, usually it's admin and then your password is going to be your Wi-Fi care carrier like tell us or something sometimes it sometimes it says on the back of your router as well so you, you can try doing that too if all else fails I mean you could call the company and see if they give it to you they're usually pretty good about it but some of them don't like you going into it so now you can see I'm, I'm in then you want to head to firewall then you want to click on port forwarding now here you're gonna be inputting all your ports so the first thing we're going to do is we want that first port and the TCP. So we're going to type in 80 in all four boxes. Uh, some people may not have four boxes. You may just have two. Just type 80 in both. Whereas I have the four boxes, so I'm just going to make sure I cover everything and put them in all four boxes. I honestly, I don't know why they have the four boxes. It didn't used to be like that a couple years ago. But I guess that's what they're doing now. So if you have two boxes, you know, it's easier for you. Make sure that your protocol is the same as what it's saying, then just type in 80 on all of them. And at the top, you're also going to want to select your uh, PS4's IP that you just made. So make sure you match that IP with what you typed in on your PS4. And that's basically what we're going to keep doing. So we go on to the second one. Now I know some of my other friends, they have routers that actually don't let them input this. They'll save it and then they'll delete it later or they'll kick them off the web page and not let them access it. For that, you'd have to kind of search up to see what the problem is there. You can call your carrier to see if they can help you out. You can update it to see if it fixes the settings. Uh, try anything to see if that helps. Maybe even change the router so you have a different 
firmware on it. Now for the last one here that we're doing the port, just make sure you change it to UDP because the last one is different versus all the other ones. And also make sure because the last two or three have different numbers as well for the start and the end ports. Because you don't want to end up opening the wrong port and then you're going to wonder why you don't have it open. Now after all this, we're actually going to head back onto the PS4 and you're going to test your connection to see if it's still successful and it gets you onto the PlayStation and things like that. Here I'm showing you the ports there. Those aren't all of them. Some of them are hidden in the other ports that I have in the black space. So anyways, check to see if everything's good, then get back on to a game. And my NAT type down at the bottom does say open. So that does prove that the port forwarding did actually work. And when you test it guys, it will say type two, but it'll actually be open. So don't worry about that. And so that basically concludes this port forward video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you got an open NAT. Uh, make sure you check out my iPhone 5C replacement and my iPad unbox and I'll see you on the next video.